I use macOS every day. It enables me to get stuff done in all different areas of my life and it becomes even better through customization. Today I want to tell you about the most important apps and settings I use to help you set up a new Mac or make the most out of the latest update which is macOS Ventura. Let's go. All right, let's get started and I'll jump right in with the new system settings app. This is new in macOS Ventura, so if you don't have that yet, just check out the software updates tab on your MacBook and make sure you're on the latest update. And for me, the first thing I always change is display and turn off True Tone, which is right here. I don't really like True Tone because it makes the color look kind of weird and depending on the lighting, it will change the white balance. I like to kind of always have the default look and not have it change, so I always disable that. Next up for me is um, I go into the trackpad settings and I increase the tracking speed. So the default is somewhere around here, which is pretty slow. And I think it's more helpful to have a faster trackpad because you can still be pretty precise if you want to. And then I always change the click to firm and I make sure I just uh, have all the gestures enabled. Next up, I think it's pretty helpful to have multiple fingerprints. You can do that by going to touch ID and password and then you will be able to add more fingerprints right here. And I usually use my left and right index finger and that's enough for me. Okay, the next important thing to customize is the menu bar, especially if you're new to macOS, this is the area right on top here to the right. And kind of counterintuitively, this is changed here under control center. You can customize whatever you want to be shown. I usually uh, change Siri to be hidden because I don't really use Siri on my laptop. Uh, I also hide spotlight because you can just use command spacebar to bring that up, but I show time machine so I can see if my laptop is backed up. And I also like to show the battery percentage. And I also like to have the sound one always shown because that will enable you to switch AirPods and kind of change your audio output device. Yeah, so that's basically all I use and you can access most of the rest if you just go right here into the control center. All right, the next one for me is under display again. And here I wanna make sure that I have the right scaling so you can just try it out. Yeah, so for this laptop, I just use the default option, but if you want more space or larger text, you can just kind of select the option that works best for you. Then uh, next up, it's also, I think, important to just look at the wallpapers. They have some really nice wallpapers in here. It's not as easy to find them anymore because they redesigned this whole settings app and it's kind of a mess right now. <laughs> but I would suggest you to check out the dynamic desktop options because they are great and they will change depending on the time of day and also the light and dark ones because you can now use kind of all of the Apple promotion wallpapers and you can use all of them. So you can see here, these are the MacBook Pro wallpapers, MacBook Air, iMac, and yeah, just choose one. I think it's really nice if you have one that will change depending on light or dark mode, but that's all your preference. Of course, you could also use one of your own pictures if you like that. Okay, so another important setting are hot corners. And you can change this under desktop and dock, kind of counterintuitively again. And you scroll all the way down and choose hot corners right here. And the ones I have set up are uh, Launchpad, which is kind of the overview of all your apps, and desktop. So you just kind of jam your mouse into the corner and then uh, you can always see your desktop, which is pretty useful if you have a bunch of windows open. And then I also have put display to sleep on the top left corner because I sometimes want to kind of shut off the display if I have my laptop connected to the monitor. All right, uh, next up I go to the Siri settings and I always disable listen to Hey Siri because it's just really annoying and I really don't ever use it on the laptop. So the only thing I get is like the false trigger. And yeah, to avoid that, I just turned it off. Okay, so that's it for the system settings. Next up, I wanna go to Finder to change some of the most important options there. And the first thing for me is to go to View and open the View options. And then I always enable Sort By, Snap to Grid. And if you change that, you can just uh, use it as a default because if you don't have that enabled, you can just place folders everywhere. For example, uh, the TV folder right here, I will just be able to place it wherever I want. And that's kind of messy. Um, with Snap to Grid, it will just snap to kind of an invisible grid and it's just much nicer. Also on the desktop, I make sure I have Use Stacks enabled 
So that means that usually if your desktop would look like this, which is kind of messy, it will group everything by the file type by default, which I really like. So I have now movies right here um, and all the folders are on the right end in order. It's just a very easy way to keep your desktop clean. Okay, next up, let's go to podcasts. If you like listening to podcasts, I use the official kind of Apple podcasts app. And if you go to the podcast settings, you can disable automatic downloads and download when saving because I don't really want my laptop to download stuff by itself. And sometimes this can get really big in terms of the file size. So I just turn it all off and manually download the ones I want. Okay, so those are the most important settings to change in my opinion. Next up, let's go through some of the most essential apps. First up, I would make sure you have all the Apple apps downloaded, which is iMovie, Pages, Keynote, for example, and a bunch of stuff like that. You can get all of that for free in the App Store. And then some additional essentials I would recommend are, first up, Accelerate. Accelerate is just a free Safari extension and it will let you play videos faster wherever you are in the web. And that's really helpful for online lectures, for example. So if you want to view something at like 2x, you can just do that. Next up, one of my absolute favorite apps ever is Better Snap Tool. It costs $2.99, I think, but it's just so helpful. And that's because it just lets you easily resize windows, which is especially helpful on a bigger monitor. So you can just kind of drag it to the side, which will give you a half window view or just top left or top right. And uh, you can just create good views with different apps so you can see everything at once. And it's just so fast and I really love it. It's honestly just really cheap for how helpful it is. The next essential app for me is App Cleaner. If you've ever tried to uninstall an app on the Mac, it's kind of not straightforward if it's something that's downloaded from the internet. And App Cleaner, which is also free, makes uninstalling apps just really easy. So I would just open App Cleaner like, sorry, like this. And then uh, I can just, let's say I wanna uninstall Notion. Can just search for it and then just drag it on here and now it will search for all the files that notion has created so if i delete it i have like everything's gone and i have nothing left because sometimes you can delete the app and for example here like 370 megabyte or something like that would still be left so yeah um, i'm not gonna delete notion right now but it's a really helpful app and i would just recommend you just get app cleaner it makes uninstalling apps so much easier okay so those are all the most essential apps and settings if you want me to talk about all the specific apps i use every day for productivity and video production just let me know in the comments and maybe i'll make a video on that all right that's it for today i hope you found this video useful and i could help you out if so, please leave a like and subscribe down below and comment your favorite app or setting for macOS so I can learn from you too. And I'll see you in the next one.